going to find now. Ah, the bad. So Dennis is the grandson of Count Dracula, but he's also, that would make him Mavis and Johnny's son. So we tried to combine two things uh, from, uh, two major things from each one of those characters. Of course, the first thing that stands out is Johnny's red hair we put onto Dennis's head. And then we tried to get uh, Mavis's eyes, her eye color is in there. Um, so that both of those characters are represented. Another new element we had to design for the camp was the jump tower that you see them climbing up in the beginning of the teaser trailer. Uh, this is a tower that we pictured to be about 500 feet tall and about 600 years old uh, because we figured Dracula jumped off of it when he was a little vampire. So because of that, we really wanted to show its age. It hasn't been upkept in hundreds of years, so it's rickety and uh, and uneven and not straight and we wanted to we had to design every single piece of it including the, the, the very top we decided to give it a little bit of ornate detail and also have the boards wear, have a lot of wear and tear to them and falling off and falling apart so just as we had to design the jump tower we actually had to design how it was going to break how it was going to fall apart so that we knew when it eventually came over and smashed into a billion pieces we had to design how those pieces were going to break apart and subsequently how each cabin when Frank runs into them was going to burst apart and the main house how that was going to break apart and catch on fire all that had to be thought out and designed so that the digital artists knew what we were, how how much destruction we were looking for the other thing that's really big is that you see in this teaser trailer is a brand new environment for our movie and that's a camp setting and it's set in deep 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 in the mountains of Transylvania so I decided to set this camp so deep inside this crevice of these mountains is because I thought where, where could a camp for monsters exist for thousands and thousands of years and it had to be somewhere it would be hidden and protected and have no sunlight over it so the deeper we set it inside the mountains the more hidden and protected it would be so we decided to design these really 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 tall mountains and set the camp down inside them the first thing that I thought though because this is a really old school monster thing was that the main house of the camp which most camps have uh, I thought it should be very gothic and be like a really old school haunted house so I tried some designs with that idea and we liked them but then my director Gendy said why don't we try something more like a ranch house a one-story ranch house made of logs and really tried to get a camp feel to it maybe it went a little too far from feeling just normal like a camp so we combined the two ideas and we decided to go with something that was rustic and kind of ranch but yet also gothic uh, and monstery at the same time. And you can even see in the design that there is a bit of a skull face in there. Um, and then within the camp we had to populate every bit that you see in there from with things like bunkhouses and all of our trees had to be designed and textured and populated throughout the camp things that you take for granted like rocks obviously those things have to be designed and placed uh, carefully in uh, the the camp I had to design flagpoles with flag logos on them and designs uh, we had to design every danger sign that was around the rickety old jump tower every piece of barbed wire had its own unique design to it plus bushes and shrubbery uh, information boards and each little sign on the information board is a separate piece of artwork that someone had to think of like lists and and sign up sheets uh, we have a team house sign up sheet that has the name of every single viz dev artist that I on my team on there um, I put my cat's name on the flower <laughs> identification chart so those are the fun kind of stuff that you get to do when you're designing things but it shows that everything has to be thought out and everything has to be designed down to the smallest detail. Toward the end of the trailer you see a lot of children all holding marshmallows uh, and sticks that they want to go run towards the fire with. So each one of those kids had to be individually created. All of their hairstyles, their clothing, the little logos on their clothing, their shorts, their sneakers, everything had to be built, styled, and designed and textured in the computer down to the marshmallow sticks that they're holding. We had to, you have to design a stick, you have to design the marshmallows. Fire! 